Myself, Dr. Nilofa. I'm a bioinformatics global scientist at Biotechnica. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about what is meant by phylogenetic tree and how it can be used for the analysis of evolutionary relationship using the bioinformatics platform. So as you all can see guys, like where in this particular slide, we are having an overview regarding phylogenetic tree. So phylogenetic tree is majorly used to analyze the evolutionary relationship of the species of our interest. And more we are going to see in the further slides. Introduction to phylogenetic. Phylogenetic is a study of evolutionary relationship among biological entity. So as if, if you are interested to study the evolutionary relationship between the multiple organism or else the species of your interest, so definitely phylogenetic tree is one of the important approach you can proceed using bioinformatics. In this particular phylogenetic analysis, you all of you will get to know an overview regarding how exactly we can study the evolutionary relationship between the biological targets of our interest. So those targets may be your specific species, what you are interested, or else you can even go with respect to the organisms of your target. So in this particular presentation, we are going to explore the integration of bioinformatics in analysis of this relationship. It's nothing but the evolutionary relationship and then providing their insights with the evolutionary history of the species. So the most important thing to get to note over here Phylogenetic tree is a study of evolutionary relationship between the specific target of your interest and that is nothing but the species. And this understanding of phylogenetic is important for the advancement of genomics and even conservation of biology. So here basically you will get to know what is the relationship between the species or the target of your interest and how much uh, relation it used to understand the genomic variations so that further we can study more with respect to the different variants and also get to know the identification of potential targets. Moving ahead, phylogenetic analysis and bioinformatics help us to combine the biology with respect to the target of our interest. So as we all know that bioinformatics combines the biology, computer science, mathematics and then Using this particular integrative approach, we are able to analyze the biological data. But here, if you are using the biological data, specifically with respect to the phylogenetic analysis, then ultimately we can even help us to interpret and analyze the vast amount of genomics data. It's nothing but the specific targets we can look ahead. So by utilizing these algorithms and the softwares, bioinformatics help us, the researchers, to uncover the patterns of genetic sequences. So basically here we are able to get to know what are the type of variations, is the variations are new or, or novel and how much this novel variations have relation between the known organisms and based on that can we come up with respect to designing potential targets to get to know the known information. So the best example is COVID-19. So as we all know that COVID-19 was one of the pandemic and we were struggling to get the particular potential targets with respect to the COVID. So in that particular approach, the searchers has proceed to get to know and study the evolutionary relationship of those novel variants with respect to their phylogenetic analysis and get to know the relationship between the species or the target of your interest and then screen their genomic information with novel variations. And based on that, we are able to generate the evolutionary tree and get to know the relationship and able to find out the potential targets in a very less period of time. Discussing more, importance of phylogenetic analysis. So phylogenetic analysis help us to understanding the evolutionary dynamics of the species. So as we are using a big data with high throughput screening approaches, so evolutionary relationship also help us to study the dynamic nature of that specific species is nothing but where we can largely classify the species of your interest, get to know the specific questions. What we have is nothing but the novel variants, how much relationship it has to the variations have the specific relationship between the evolutionary relationship. So this kind of things we will get to know and we are able to answer those. 
and the interpretations part can be done by taking help of bioinformatics where bioinformatics is integrating with the interpretations of biological data by providing a specific tools resources and also validations can be done with the predictive algorithms we can even study the forensic analysis and then we it that it that also help us to identify the pathogens of our interest so ultimately it has playing a significant role with the multiple application so phylogenetic analysis helps us in the understanding the evolutionary dynamics of the species and also identifying the what is the common ancestors where the researchers or as a scientist can trace the evolutionary pathway and find out what is the relationship among the species and which are the essential fields like taxonomology and ecological way for the interpretations point of view so ultimately this kind of uh, phylogenetic analysis help us to study the taxonomy is nothing but where we will get to know uh, the taxonomy of an information and the ecology is nothing but where we can study the more economical uh, and the environmental species of our interest moving ahead techniques in phylogenetics so key techniques in phylogenetics includes sequence alignment molecular phylogenetics and even construction of phylogenetic tree so these are the core and most important steps what we used to follow once we just proceed the analysis of phylogenetics using bioinformatics databases so in bioinformatics we have certain databases where we can pull out the data and then we can study the first that is sequence alignment is nothing but how much relationship it do contain based on the alignment and the getting the percentage and then we can even study the what is a molecular phylogenetics is nothing but the relation based on their variant information or the targets what we are looking for and to get a better visualizations and to do more proper interpretations we can construct the phylogenetic tree so this methods help us to utilize the computational tools by analyzing the vast amount of dna sequence and then study the evolutionary history of the organisms and provide a clear understanding of the biodiversity so ultimately in phylogenetic uh, molecular phylogenetics we have character based method and distance based method so character based methods where the methods are include such as maximum parsimony maximum likelihood and bayesian interference so this kind of methods will help us with respect to the character based phylogenetic analysis so whereas distance met met methods will help us to get the cluster analysis using upgma method and neighbor joining that is ng methods so these are the methods you all of you were able to get through bioinformatics databases discussing more so these are the different methods and we are going to discuss as an overview so if you are taking the up gma method so the advantage is it's, it is a fast and reliable and it helps us to find out the related sequence whereas the disadvantage is nothing but where you will get a evolutionary rate with the constant of all branches so as we are able to generate the phylogenetic tree right so neighbor joining will help us to faster than the character based method and then ultimately the disadvantages are nothing but where we can overcome those things right so if we know what are the overcomes or is the loopholes then ultimately we can study in depth with the partners so basically the methods will include with respect to the finding and then we will get to know more about the insights so each method have their significance such as maximum ne parsimony and fetch methods okay likely home methods so that those are those are the fast robust and it will provide the more similar sequence and get to know how exactly we will study the more clarity with respect to the phylogenetic analysis so different bioinformatics tools are there to analyze the phylogenetic tree several bioinformatics tools are available such as mega uh, so these are ultimately the platforms or the resources are available so you guys can explore manually search this name of the database in uh, bioinformatics resource so you are able to launch that particular data and then proceed with step by step analysis so mega then pa up and beast map okay this tools offers a functionality for sequence alignment pre building 
statistical analysis and definitely enhancing the researchers to conduct the comprehensive evolutionary study so if you are able to see guys okay so this kind of um, construction is nothing but the phylogenetic maps we can construct and if guys if you are using this kind of visualizations to represent your findings with more publication quality images so ultimately your work will go for the novel findings okay so ultimately this kind of constructions can be done using certain bioinformatics tools and the resources which are available discussing ahead the challenges in phylogenetic research so as we all know that the phylogenetic analysis majorly help us to construct the network uh, with respect to the construction of phylogenetic analysis and here uh, despite advance of phylogenetic research face a challenges such as data quality so how much the quality of data you are able to get through so that you can construct a very fine and um, specific networks with respect to the construction of the species right and then you can make a computational complexity because as we are constructing the same kind of um, phylogenetic tree with the clustering hierarchical analysis so it will help us to make the interpretations of the results right so interpretations of the results can even get to know if you are using the proper tools and the resources with the uh, analysis point of view so by addressing these challenges it, it it will help also help us to make the proper uh, reliable accuracy and get to know the evolutionary analysis using the bioinformatics tools so yes we have certain tools and the resources where you can easily perform the overview and get to know the insights for the same moving ahead so the overall conclusion of the phylogenetic analysis is that bioinformatics so with integration of phylogenetic analysis it enables the researchers to go deeper in slides to study the evolution relationship and even in the future advancement it help us to perform more computational analysis by integration of data and even enhance the understanding of biodiversity with respect to the application of evolutionary process so overall phylogenetic analysis has given a broader overview to understand a novel species and get to know the relationship between the evolutionary history and understand the ancestral relationship to design the future potential drug targets and study the novel variants and the relationship with respect to their ancestor so i hope that you all of you get an overview if anybody have any queries questions they can drop their questions and this is all about with respect to the future of our application with respect